What is going on, internet? It, oh, it has been a scorcher here in England. Today is Sunday. It's not Monday, but I feel I, I feel like I, I need to get a coffee time out for you guys. I feel like uh, you need a little extra. So here's a little extra shot. There's a shot of espresso. So I've got a coffee here. Hmm, it's damn near hot. Fresh out the pot. Oh look, I'm a poet. I didn't know. Now, <laughs> I have been going to school to get my NVQ level 3 in cybersecurity, and <laughs> here's a pisser. Um, I've already got the skills and everything else, I, but my certifications are from an American university, not a British university. And so British companies require that certification to be coming to come from a British university so that I can get my clearance with the British government to go forward in my field of uh, penetration testing. Giggity. And so I'm having to redo an entire series of classes that I've already bloody done multiple times to re to, to keep my American certification fresh and updated and what because you have to keep getting some certs updated. So while I'm doing that, I figured I'll take a break from endless typing, clickety clackety. The point where I even broke, no joke, I broke two keyboards typing. Literally, one the space bar stopped working, and the other one the E A and W key stopped working. <laughs> so that was fun, and uh, I'll probably try and fix one of them or something. Point is back to this so I took a break and I was floating around on X and this story pops up <laughs> when I first read this story I thought to myself this this can't be real bro and then it's right there on dailymail.com and I was like motherfucker it is real what the fuck bro now I've even seen the video, and I'm not going to play the video because I don't want to give any copyright strikes or anything. But my point is this, okay? One, my dude, my dude, you are legit looking like you belong in a 90s boy band like Earth, Wind and Fire or Backstreet Boys or some shit like that. Stop wearing your fucking goddamn hats backwards. It's not the fucking 80s. It's not the fucking 90s. Grow up. And, and, and now bear in mind, this, <laughs> this, this coffee place, which is, I believe is in South Seattle, okay, it, 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 it's called Bikini Clad Baristas. And you can tell basically it's just a soft core wannabe strip joint that sells coffee. Overpriced coffee. Now apparently this guy has been a regular at this venue. I wonder why. And while he's been a regular at this venue, he's never seemed to have had an issue with the cost of the drinks. So all of a sudden, out of nowhere, either he's having a really bad fucking day, pardon my French, he's having a really bad bloody day, or, or whatever, but the point is, he pays twenty-two dollars, twenty-two bones, for a water and a coffee. Out the tap, free, pretty much. Out my kettle. Now, what got my attention to this isn't isn't the bird who looks like she belongs on like freaking like oh god what is that fucking modeling agency suicide girls there you go that's the name of the agency before YouTube strikes me okay it's the name of the agency where it's usually flat-chested chicks covered in tattoos with like 
neon green or neon pink hair, yada, 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 you know, and they're usually from the Middle East. Or not the Middle East, they're usually from the Eastern Bloc of the Ukraine. You can usually count their ribs. Like if you ever fight, it's like, it's like they're doing it just for food. Like it's like, we'll, we'll model for a sandwich. You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. Good biscuit. And so, and by the way, that's not my type of woman. Face tattoos? No, no. Chest tattoo? Okay. On a flat chest? No, no. Major nose piercings, like she wants to be read, led, led around by her nose like she's a fucking sow? No, no. Gauged ears? No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. Why would you want to destroy your center of balance? See, originally, gauged ears, noses, etc., was done by South, Af in, by South African tribes. To, to, de de to denote their rank within the tribe. Now, now all of a sudden, every wannabe fucking socialist hipster fuck boy whatever you want to call them commie pricks are getting it all done because it's the in thing to do do you not understand what counterculture is originally people were doing that to be counterculture well after a while you're going to fuck up your center of gravity you're going to fuck up your center of balance i.e your center of gravity you're going to get a ton of fucking ear infections if you don't keep those fuckers clean and you don't exactly none of you don't exactly smell like you bathe on a regular fucking basis just fucking saying yes you can get a yeast infection in your ear and yes it will literally eat away at the cartilage you plus gauged ears in a fight if i see that on my opponent guess what i'm doing what i'll pull your fucking ear off I will bite into you like you're a chocolate bar. You think I'm joking? Mm-mm. Anyway, back to this. So, the barista, after getting the drinks thrown on her, decides to take a claw hammer, I don't know why she has a claw hammer, but she has a claw hammer, and proceed to smash the guy's windshield with it. I'm all for self-defense. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for self-defense. I'm all for you attack me, you come at me with malicious intent, with evil intent, with intent to do harm on me, myself, or anyone else around me. I will fucking drop you. Make no mistakes. I will put you into the ground and then I will stomp you six feet under so an undertaker don't have to bury you. Do you get what I'm saying? End of. Unfortunately, this shithole country that I live in demands that we have to be at the beck and call and the mercy of police who don't do their fucking job. At all. They don't do their job at all. There's been countless times when police have been radioed in to call for a domestic violence call or... Uh, 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 a robbery or, or a stabbing or Christ knows what else and you know where they're at a block away sitting in their car reading a newspaper and when people have come up to them and asked them why are you not attending that call they said I don't have to that was their response I don't have to so this this section section's aimed at British people here so do you think that that is a valid fucking excuse? That they don't have to? Or do you think it's a valid excuse to put... If someone puts hands on you, you return the favour? Because I'm sorry, I grew up with parents that taught me that if anyone comes at me, end them. Don't fuck about, end them. Don't play with your food, end them. 
They pick up a brick, you pick up a brick. They pull out a knife, you pull out a sword. They escalate it, you end it. And when they're down, make sure they stay down. Thank you, Dad. That's how I was raised. And he should know. That man faced more oppression than you could ever possibly know. Not because of the color of his skin, but because of where he was born. My father was born in Southern Ireland. In the 60s. Three little letters of the alph alphabet. I-R-A. I grew up with oppression. Still, to this day, there are several Irish people, clans even, that are oppressed because of their allegiances during that time. You want to bitch about Gaza and Israel? No, 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 no. That's nothing. That's petty. That's 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 only been going on for a fucking minor blip. Look at Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland. Bitch. Before you fucking start arguing about oh free free Palestine. No. Fuck Palestine. Fuck Israel. Fuck the Ukraine. Fuck Russia. I don't care. I've never been pro this or anti that. Never have. Never will. What I am is I don't like bullies. That's what I am. I don't like bullies. So if you want to bully someone, I'll bully you. You want to hurt someone, I'll hurt you. I don't care about Palestine. I don't care about Israel. And I have I have Jewish heritage in me. My grandfather on my mum's side, my mum's father is Israeli Jew. And I am saying this. I don't care. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with England. It has nothing to do with anyone but the assholes in that situation, i.e. both Palestine and Israel. It is to do with them, and only them. Let them handle the problem. Stay the fuck out of it. Mind your own business. You need to do better. Thank you, Joey Swoles. Same with fucking Ukraine and Russia. Mind your own business. You need to do better. Stop sending them money. Stop sending them tanks. Stop sending them anything. It has always been a David versus, versus a Goliath thing. You can sell them the slings and the rocks. It doesn't fucking matter. It's only ever going to go one way. You are literally trying to hold back a tidal wave with a band-aid. Good fucking luck. There is no return on investment. This is what you need to understand. When it comes to getting involved in another country's conflict, you have to have a dog in the fight. You have to have something in it. What does America and England and countless other countries have when it come in, in that fight when it comes to Ukraine and Russia? Ask yourself that. Ask questions. Ask. Why did Boris Johnson go and stop peace talks between between Putin and, and Zelensky? Why? 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 Ask questions. Ask questions. Always ask questions. Contact your contact your leaders and ask them why. Why did they get involved? Get FOIA requests. Unfortunately, we only get freedom of information requests here in England, but they're limited, which means if it's a, an ongoing investigation, they can't send it to you until after the investigation's finished. Well, the war's still going on, so therefore it's an, an active investigation, which means no one's ever going to find out who, what, where, or when. Not in a public sector. In a, politi in, in a poli political or a private sector, then yeah, you'll, you'll get relevant information. But us Joe Schmo public, who are paying for that shit out of our, out of our taxes, which, by the way, England also launched out a new law that stops English people from investing in crypto. Especially if you're a small-time investor like myself. A couple of, about a year ago, almost, yeah, almost a year ago now, 
my crypto wallet got hacked and I lost I didn't say much I had like I had like maybe one and a half Bitcoin I had like 1 1.2 no 1.3 1.4 Bitcoin not much but that was my entire retirement plan that was 40 something thousand at the time it's gone up to 60 something now that was my retirement I was going to use that money and leave England and go to a country where I could live comfortably like Thailand or I don't know, fuck America and live comfortably. I can't do that now. And every time I log into my Coinbase, which here, every time I log into my Coinbase, Right. See, as you can see, I I have traded in the past. See, I've traded in the past. All right. I go to my assets. Gone. All gone. In August last year. Here you go. Now, don't invest unless you're prepared to lose. Yada yada yada. Okay. Take this two minute quiz to learn more. See, new regulations. These regulations, if you read them, basically say if you're a small-time investor, fuck off, you can't invest anymore. And I'm not even joking. It will flat out say to you, you cannot invest. You're not allowed to invest. Fuck off. For a dark thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, see? Let me go to advance. Okay, now, additional information required, right here. UK financial uh, 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 promotions, you see, this is, you see what I'm saying? Now, which statement describes your situation? I'm not a high net worth investor, I'm a restricted investor. I don't go above 10%. It's smart, you don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? So, um, yes, I've invested less. Yes, I've invested less. All right? Restricted investor statement. I accept the original. Yep. And it wants me to take a quiz. There you go. So now it's telling me I can go back to trading. But earlier this week, I tried to to get back in because I do, I do, I do trade. Um, as you can see, my 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 statements are zero because the bastards, whoever it was, cleaned me out. They they fucking just cleaned me out. Um, they took everything. Um, so yes, I do I do take crypto as a form of donation. You know, if you want to dono down below, it's great. Um, I don't offer financial advice. I don't. It's not my thing. I don't do financial advice. Believe it or not, I, I'm actually in the process of designing my own trading bot to work with uh, uh, Coinbase. Um, it's based on a few uh, other bots out there and their models and whatnot. Um, I also use... Oh, come on. There's also another program that I like to use. Come on. Let it load. 
There we go. This is GPT for all. It is. So the issue of Shut up. This is GPT for all. This is. Two or three. Will you stop? This is a um, language, large language model based machine. Basically, I can select which model I want to talk to, and it will load that model up and allow me to ask it questions using my graphics card instead of using online sources. You can set it up so that it can pull it related to stuff off chat GBT, things of that nature. Not that I suggest you do. You always want to go offline and keep your data to yourself. Now, again, me personally, I like to look at all the data available. I'm taking a look at the order books, things of that nature. And um, this was my portfolio. I think I've still got a few. Yeah, see, I had AMP and GRT. Um, in there, what else was there? Got no orders, do I? No, no orders. All right, and then you can earn percentages by. Point. Okay, so what's going on? Cosmos is up at thirteen. What else is up? Ooh, Polygon's up by three. Ethereum's up by two. Sadly, why is Ethereum only up by two? Well, eh, is what it is. Um. So yeah, and so it's all about understanding, you know, what you do. I I do, I'm I'll, I'll put like ten quid in, and then set a bot up and let the bot run. I I only lose, I only lose a tenner sometimes. I even make money. I mean, one time I made like two pound fifty because my bot made me twelve pounds something in change. It made me back my ten pounds basically. It was a good little bot. Uh, until the Pi I had it programmed on, and yes, I use an external computer like. A Raspberry Pi. It the Pi took a major shit. This isn't that Pi. That Pi actually literally overheated and fried. Which reminds me, I need to buy a uh, cooler for this uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, like I said, I use external machines. This is why everyone keeps asking me, why do I have so many fucking uh, computers? Uh, I've got one over there. No joke. Got one computer over there. That's for my art computer. That's got a whole bunch of webcams and stuff planned up. So that's what I do. When I do my YouTube videos while I'm painting, I'm over there. Completely different computer. I have no access to this machine. I've got another machine over there that's a NAS, um, and it used to mine Monero, but I decided to stop mining Monero and just use it as a network storage device uh, uh, stuff kind of thing. And then I've got this main computer that you see here that I record my YouTube content with. Um, I've got a laptop for work, which is for my, for my schooling. I've got a tablet over there, and I've got a work phone, and I've got my private phone. Um, again, like I said, I, I've got, and I've even got a little, little pony gotchi. Got little, little. Actually, you know what? Let me let me turn turn him on. I haven't turned him on. I let him sleep last night. That's right, so. And I got a little pony gotchi. So I, I do mess about and have fun with my magic deck. I do mess about and have fun. And I, I one of my old computers finally took a shit. And it turned out it was his processor. This processor was was the the root cause of the problem. So I turned it into a keychain. <laughs> I legit turned it into a keychain. I freaking, I, I freaking. There you go. So yeah, I actually turned a, a CPU, an old CPU, into a keychain for myself. Um, how techy can you get? Anyway, guys. So, long story short, let's get back to this. What happened here? So, you can clearly see he's the sort of man that goes to a strip club, and a club on a Wednesday, and you can clearly see she's the sort of woman that works at a strip club. And goes to the club on a Wednesday, and lets the gas station attendant hit it, get her pregnant, thinking that he's, you know, the next Drake or the next SoundCloud mumble rapper, whatever. <laughs> At that point, seriously, just stop listening to music, you tasteless fucks. Now, um. <laughs> Who's in the wrong here? The man for losing his temper or the chick for hitting the screen windshield with the hammer? I personally think that the man should be arrested first because he did he did throw the drink. He, he assaulted her first. She responded in kind. Was it exaggerated? Was it over the top? No, it wasn't. My over the top would be smashing him in the head with the hammer. That would be over the top. The fact that she smashed his windshield? No, I don't. Um, 
But yeah, she could get a misdemeanor for damaging damaging private property, but he should get a a um, he should catch himself a a felony for assault. And um, yeah, um, assault, a misdemeanor for public disturbance. Um, there's a whole bunch of charges he 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 should be should be catching from this right now. Um, and so do I think who, 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 in my honest opinion, let me, let me ask you guys in chat, who's in the wrong here? Is, is the barista in the wrong or is, or, or is the, 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 the man in the wrong? My, my, as a guy, as a guy. Now bear in mind, this woman has no sway or effect on me. I don't, she's got pretty eyes, but other than that, I don't find her attractive in any way, shape or form. So she's got no sway with me. She's got no pull with me. All right. As a man, you'd think I'd stick up for the man. No, I will stick up for a man who's doing a, a, a manly thing. When you act like a little twat and throw drinks because you're a coward because you don't know how to fucking fight, I'm sorry, my dude, you lost me. You're the one that should be going to jail. In fact, you should also be charged for a cleanup fee to clean all that mess up. You should be fined. You should be arrested, charged, fined, and and barred from from any business within like a, 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 a fucking six block radius of, of where this happened. End of. Plain and simple. No one should ever, especially if you work in customer care. I've worked in customer care and it fucking sucks. Okay, you should never, ever, ever, ever take it out on staff. Okay, who handle your food. Never talk to a manager who doesn't handle your food okay if you've got a problem with one of the staff members you say to them kindly may i please speak to your manager you know and then you talk to the manager directly you say look i'm, I'm sorry but the attitude from your the, the staff here is you know you, you know whatever your problem is you don't make a scene out of it you don't start cussing you don't start throwing shit this isn't waffle house on a friday night you know come on man come on you don't you don't take it out on the staff. If you're upset at the cost of the prices of things, that's Biden inflation for you. Vote fucking Republican, not Democrat. You get what I'm saying? End of. Vote red, not blue. Again, I'm not telling you who to vote for. I'm not. But you fuck around, you find out. Play stupid games, earn stupid prizes. So that's that. That is that. And I would expect it to be like f in Florida, not freaking, n not fucking Seattle, not Washington. I would expect this sort of reaction in a place like Florida or New York or California. Definitely not freaking Washington. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. And I mean, the chick's only 23. I'm sorry, darling, but you need to contact Jesus and ask him where the hell your tits are because you're part of the itty, itty bitty titty committee. Hell, the tattoo of the woman's tits on your chest are bigger than yours. <laughs> sorry, darling. I'm sorry, but not sorry. And so, yeah, I just, I saw this story and I figured I need to let you guys know that how ridiculous this is. <laughs> And it's not just it's not just in America. In, we get ridiculous stories like this in England too. But sadly, the stories we get like this in England often end up in results of X person got stabbed or Y person got shot. You know, or or Z no police showed up to investigate. Yada 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 yada. The police would sooner rather arrest a Christian man in a Christian country rather than the Muslim getting in his face, threatening to, to behead him and his family. Make that make sense. Metropolitan Police. Make that make sense. Yorkshire Police. Make that make sense. Reading Police. Make that make sense. Luton Police. Make that make sense. You can't. Because none of you even follow your own fucking guidelines. Your own 
rules, your own laws. And it's amazing how every time one of you coppers actually do your fucking job, you go viral and people say, oh, that, that's brutality. That's the, no, motherfuckers, that's how the police used to be in the fucking 80s and the 90s when they had balls. Fucking balls. Nowadays, they're too busy wearing rainbows and running around going, pride. No, fuck your pride. Fuck your pride. This month is supposed to be men's mental health, not pride. How many fucking months do you need? Fuck off. Get your own. This is men's mental health month, not fucking pride. Fuck off with that shit. Am I homophobic? No. Am I anti-trans? No. Am I anti LGBTQ A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q I speak? No, I'm not. I'm not Alpha Betty Spaghetti Mafia. I'm not anti any of that because I'm fucking bisexual myself. You stupid cool of us. I'm tired of you fucking flamboyant little flamingo fucks going into schools teaching children. And you know it's fucking wrong because you yourself were diddled as a child. You're just passing on that fucking grievance onto other children. You are literally perpetuating the fucking problem. Instead of going to therapy and seeking out the correct help, you are now choosing to offload your trauma onto other fucking children under the guise of pride. You are fucking sick and you all need to fucking hang by your necks. End of. That's how I personally feel about that. Publicly, you do you, boo-boo. Come near my fucking kids, come near my grandkids, come near my great-grandkids. I will fucking end you. Touch my fucking children. I will fucking end you. Hide, lie, cheat, steal, or try to do anything with my fucking children, I will end you. And it's amazing how the last 8 to 12, I want to say, mass shooters have all been trans. But let's just sweep that under the rug, shall we? Let's just, you know. Nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Why did it take so long for the manifesto of that shooter to come out? Because it doesn't go with your narrative. It doesn't go with your let's divide the us versus them. Bear in mind, I have family members, own blood, flesh and blood, who are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, cross-dresser, etc, etc, etc. And I love them all the same as if they wasn't. It doesn't matter. I don't have hate in my heart for who and what you are. I have hate in my heart for your actions. Remember what, 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 what Dr. King said? Judge a person not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. Hello, McFly. I am quite literally judging you by the content of your character, and you fucking have none. So toddle on, go cry into Twitter, go threaten my boss to go fire me, which by the way, I'm self-employed. And my boss says, fuck you. Go ahead. Fuck with me. I ain't afraid of a fucking single one of you. Not one. Try me. Fucking try me. Now I'm all for your rights. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for your... If you want to lop off your willy or, or have a willy surgically attached to you, you do you, boo-boo. That's entirely up to you. But if I knew you was Janet and you want to be called Jack, I'm still calling you Janet. I'm old school. That's how my brain fucking works. Granted, it takes a while for the uploads to finally get there, you know, the old Mark 1 dial-up. But the point is, 
I will respect it if you ask me politely and say, could you please from now on call me Jack and not Janet? I'll say, I will do my utmost best to remember to call you Jack and not Janet. That's it. You came to me with respect. I answer you with respect. I treat you with respect. When you get in my face snarling and barking like a fucking dog, <coughs> demanding that I, demanding, that's the key word, fucking demanding that I call you Jack, I am going to call you fucking Janet just out of spite. Do you understand? All right. Morning, Janet. How are you, Janet? How's your non existent tits, Janet? Hey, Janet, have you got an erection yet? No? Okay. Have you gotten a woman pregnant yet? No? Oh, you can't? Oh. oh. Sorry, Janet. Have a nice day, Janet. Go fuck yourself, Janet. There's a difference, do you see? Come to me with respect, you get respect. Come with me with ignorance and hate, I will slap you so fucking hard, your grandparents will be fucking ashamed of you. Do you understand me? Do you fucking understand me? I'm tired of this shit. Boys, have a willy. Girls, have a vagina. Oh no, he's transphobic. How? Where did I mention trans? You did. You assumed. You jumped. Come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Sit down. It. You want to know what's wrong with the current generation is so easily fucking offended? It's clear to me that you've never seen a single Monty Python, a single... At all, you've never seen a single episode of Monty Python. You've never seen a single episode of Little Britain. You've never seen a single episode of Forty Towers. You've never seen a single episode any of the Carry On movies. You have never, ever, ever had your own fucking bullshit, flip floppy, fish out of water mentality, fucking ideology ever fucking pushed, tested, or wiggled at. Hell, Blazing Saddles. You would fucking literally five minutes into Blazing Saddles, you would literally be hanging yourself. Where's the lie? This is the problem with your piss weak little soy infused generation. Fucking nut up, buttercup. Put your bullshit aside. I don't care. I don't fucking care. But what I do care about is if you bring that shit to my family, to them who can't defend themselves, to my children, of which I have three boys, of which I have two daughters. You go to at them in any way, shape or form. Flights are cheap. And I sleep easy at night knowing I've killed people. Because I have. Do you have any idea... What a 120mm shell fired from a Challenger 2 tank does to a soft target. I do. I saw it first hand. And it was fucking glorious. And I slept like a baby. And I'll sleep like a baby again. If any of you fuckers ever threaten my fucking family. That's what your generation lacks. It lacks a spine. You think getting fruity on fucking TikTok means anything to me? I don't give a fuck. You think fucking reporting my comments on Instagram means anything to me? I don't give a fuck. You think reporting my Facebook means anything to me? I shall repeat my last statement. I do not give a flying fuck. You think reporting down downvoting this video means anything to me? No, nope, it's engagement. Thank you. Leave a comment. Call me anything you want in the comment section. I don't care. Guess what? I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. This is me not caring. This is me not giving a fuck. This is me... <sighs> not giving a fuck about your opinion because your opinion means nothing to me because I don't respect you there's very little people on this planet I do respect and to those I do two of them are trans and I do respect their opinion one of them 
name's Catherine, my queen, and the other one is Cora, my submissive. Yes, I am also a dominant. I'm into kink. Got a problem with it? Fucking find me. Say it to my face. Have a nice day. Yeah. That said, coffee's done. Video's done. See you in the next one.